Hello, hello, it's Lauren. Welcome back to my channel for the love of, if you are joining me for the first time, I wanna say welcome and thanks for taking the time to click on this review. If you're a returning viewer or subscriber, welcome on back. You guys, yes, yet another Bath and Body Works slash White Barn candle review. Today we're gonna to be talking about Mary Mimosa, which is part of the winter 2019 collection from Bath and Body Works slash White Barn. This one does have a White Barn label on it. I do not know the name of this specific collection. Um, they have these darling little wraparound, almost townhome type labels. There was several fragrances in this collection, which of course, Mary Mimosa, there was Champagne Toast, I think even Black Tie, Almost all of the scents that they typically use for like their New Year's-esque kind of collections, or at least in my eyes, their New Year's scents. Today we're going to be reviewing Mary Mimosa. I almost got Champagne Toast. I was torn. I was torn, you guys, between Mary Mimosa and Champagne Toast. But it's been a hot minute since I burned Mary Mimosa. I know I've burned it in the past. I typically gravitate towards Champagne Toast and Peach Bellini because they're both a little bit sweeter, but I wanted to switch it up and I wanted to give this one a try because it has been probably three years or so, if not more since I burned Mary Mimosa. I don't think I've burned it since I worked at Bath & Body Works, so it's been a hot minute. So I want to review that for you today. If you guys are interested in Champagne Toast reviews, Peach Bellini reviews, and I also wanted to do a review on the new, is it Cranberry Peach? I think they have a Cranberry Peach in a, in the um, colored glass white barn label. I will be doing reviews on those, they're coming. I haven't had the opportunity to get the candles yet for those, but those are gonna be my New Year's type burns. So if you're a fan of like the sweetsy, fruity, bright fragrances for the holiday season, I will absolutely be reviewing those for you. And that's one of the reasons why I decided to grab Mary Mimosa because I know not all of you love peppermint and pine. So I wanted to switch it up and give a variety for you guys. So anyhow, let's jump into today's review. I'm going to read you the scent notes and then we'll get right into it. Let's jump into today's review for Mary Mimosa from White Barn slash Bath and Body Works. Before I talk about the um, performance of this candle, let's read the scent notes from Bath and Body Works website. So the notes for Mary Mimosa include sparkling champagne, red apple slices, iced sugar crystals, and essential oils. Okay, so I, as I said earlier, I, I naturally kind of gravitate towards champagne toast and peach bellini a little more because they're a little bit sweeter and a little bit more bright, a little stronger. But when I smelt Mary Mimosa on, on cold, it was it was really pretty. It's a little more muted. What I get while burning is very similar to what you smell on cold. When it's burning, you almost get it's it's like a semi-sweet fragrance, you guys. I don't get I don't get red apple. I don't get apple. It has like a semi-sweetness. But what I really get, the majority of it is just almost like a bright effervescent note, just like a semi-sweet, bubbly, bright effervescent note. Um, I almost get a little bit of like a sweet sharpness, almost what you would get maybe from like a green apple. I know that sounds weird because it says red apple slices, but it doesn't smell like apples to me. It's not like, like tis the season or red apple wreath or um, like Macintosh or, or Country Apple, any of those. It's really just a bright effervescent note. I feel like if you like Yankee Candles All is Bright, I think I did a review on that last holiday season. It's almost like a champagne-y, semi-sweet, effervescent type fragrance. This is very similar. It's a little bit sweeter. It's much stronger. If you liked All is Bright and it just wasn't throwing for you and maybe you want a stronger fragrance in something in the same scent family, I would give Mary Mimosa a try. It does say sugar crystals on there. There is a bit of a sweetness, but it's nowhere near as sweet as Champagne Toast or Peach Bellini. Um, I'm trying to think of other champagne -y type fragrances. There's not too many out there. So those are the two that I could kind of compare it to. It's a little more muted. 
but the throw on this was pretty good, you guys. So this is my second burn. I just lit it up about an hour ago or so for, uh, for the video, but I had it going last night for about <laughs> maybe three hours three and a half hours, had it going in the half bath. At first, when I lit it up, I was I was very on the fence. To be honest, when I first lit it up and I started smelling it, I go, oh no, uh-uh, I go, I'm returning this. I was about to do an Instagram post about it because it just, it. I guess it wasn't what I was expecting or what I remembered. It's not super sweet. I was really wanting something that was very super bright, super strong. If you like something a little more subdued, once once it starts burning, it is very pretty. Um, I'm glad I didn't jump to conclusions on it because now that I'm kind of letting it throw, kind of let the scents blend together, it's, it's quite pretty. Am I going to go grab another one this season after I burn this one down? No. I'm going to stick with Champagne Toast, Peach Bellini. I will be trying out that cranberry peach, which I talked about earlier. It's very pretty. Um, I feel like it's a good layering scent. It's almost in the same vein as like, say, almost some of those perfumey body care scents. I feel like this could almost be a body care fragrance, to be honest with you. Throw one to 10, 10 of course being super crazy strong. This is coming in at like a solid seven, maybe seven and a half. That was in a smaller room. Now that I have it in an open room, um, it's probably like a six and a half. It's it's definitely noticeable. It's it's throwing, and I can smell it over the candle that I have going in my hurricane right now. Which actually, the candle I have burning in the hurricane behind this is peppermint mocha from Sonoma. So the Mary Mimosa is stronger and is actually overpowering that. So all I'm smelling right now is Mary Mimosa. So um, great alternative to a super, super sweetsy scent, kind of a mid-tier. And if you're not a fan of those, you know, overly Christmas type scents, you might want to give this a try. But for me, for the holiday season, I'm going to keep it. I'm going to pair it with some of my scents as we get past the Christmas season, but I'm not going to be buying another one. It's pretty but one is enough for me this holiday season. So you guys, that's it for today's review. Before I sign off, I wanna let you know I'm on Instagram. So if you're on there, come find me. I'm at life, L-I-F-E underscore with W-I-T-H underscore letter L. I use my Instagram to post a lot of upcoming videos, um, purchases, hauls, sometimes things that I don't do videos on. I do a lot of Goose Creek uh, wax melts, kind of my evening wax melts. So if you're a Goose Creek fan, come find me on Instagram. I post a lot of the waxes that I'm melting um, or melt cups, things like that. You guys comment down below. I'm, I like this scent. I'm still on the fence though. If you've burned Mary Mimosa in the comments, let me know what your thoughts are. Do you like this? Do you prefer this to champagne toast? Do you even like champagne toast? What, what are your thoughts on this? Um, I'm curious to see what you guys think. You guys, before I sign off, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. If you aren't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. I don't mention it in videos too, too much, but as we're getting closer to the holiday season, if you're someone who casually watches my videos, please subscribe. I'm gonna be doing a lot of holiday reviews, candle reviews, wax reviews, all kinds of good stuff coming up for the holiday and New Year season. So if you're not subscribed already and you watch my videos from time to time, hit the subscribe button so you'll pop up in the feed when I post a new video. You guys, that's it for me today. I hope you are enjoying all of your holiday burns out here in Michigan. It's already super snowy. We have snow on the ground. It feels like it's Christmas already. Let me know, are you already putting up your holiday decorations? Because I am about to start going full on holiday mode much earlier this year. So you guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you are having an awesome day, an awesome evening, an awesome weekend whatever time it is you're watching this video. Until next time, we'll see you later. Bye.